Hey everybody, Codename Gamma here, and today I want to show you what I've been working on all week. I decided to take a look at Knuckles Emerald Hunt and see if we could improve it. And I did manage to make some improvements, so let's go ahead and check them out. So, this mod is made by Blue Streak, and it is a mania conversion, I guess, of main memories, Knuckles Emerald Hunt. And I think he used Sonic 2 as base, but that was a ROM hack, and this is in Sonic Mania. Uh, you'll find the original link to main memories hack down below, as well as this one by Blue Streak, with my upgrades to it. So I was working with Blue Streak all week to get this done. And, uh, let's go. So we have Green Hill Zone, we find three emeralds. We have our emerald radar now, that actually works. When you get closer to it, it changes color. From orange, red, to green. I mean red, orange, and green, sorry. So I'm getting farther away from it. Let's see if we can get this done while talking. Uh, yeah, this project was kind of a pain in the butt. When you're managing so many different emeralds, it's just a pain. Let's climb up here. And uh, once we get done with this level, I'll show you the code. But this is set to be released sometime after the video goes up, so check the link in the description for that. And there's our first one. I think we had one at the start, so let's fly over that way. Red. Yellow. Green. And there's our second. And now we can finally run to get our last one. And before, we had to... You had to hit them and find them, like, just randomly. You had no indication of where they were, which was a massive pit aim. But, um, now you don't. Now you actually have the Emerald Radar you can find them pretty easily. And you don't have to go and beat the boss anymore. We also fixed that. So let's see. Red. Yellow. We'll pick up the speed shoes. Thanks. And there we go. It just ends the level. You don't gotta do anything else. And it takes you to the next one. Oh, uh, it randomizes the emeralds based on a random seed value. What's nice is that you can also set this value in the config. So if you want to erase somebody, you just set them with the same two seed values and you're good to go. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much about it. Also, if you wanted to get it back to the beginning, if you just press the back button on your controller or P on the keyboard, it will teleport you and kill you. Okay, it shouldn't kill you. But, um, it should just teleport you back to the start, in most cases. Um, if you do die, it does randomize the emerald locations again, so try not to die. Uh, we might try to fix that in the future, I don't know. There's one. Let's try to find the other two. <clears throat> See, and we're not getting any pings, so I don't think it's around here. Oh, there might be one up there. There's two probably right above me. There's one. And the other ones seem to get closer. There's, there it is. And we're done. Um, that's basically how it works. Let me go ahead and bring up some of the code. Wow, this is going. Turn on the dev window here. So, this is the code. Uh, each... Each zone has nine locations where it can actually spawn a... Or where it can move an emerald to. So we do this for every single zone. And this list can actually go up to, you know, whatever we want. If we wanted 200 locations, we could have 200 locations. We just have to pick 200 locations, which isn't something that we wanted to do. And getting this many was just a pain in the butt. Um, so we have some toggles and stuff for if we have the emeralds or not. 
we generate a random number, one through nine, and then we match them into the locations. And then we send, we just basically move each emerald into that location. So pretty simple stuff. And we can see here that it only does Mania mode and Encore. And that's because we're checking both of these scenes, which means that they're going to have the same locations. In this void here, in this uh, function, we're scanning through all the objects in the stage, and the first three emeralds we find, we're going to move them, and we pull them, we randomize the location, and then we say that we moved them. It does that three times, and it quits out of this. And, uh, yeah. We have some debug stuff here. That's such a massive pain in the butt. And then down here we have our emerald radar. Here is for one emerald, and it's just copied three different times. Uh, we have our ranges, so in between 3,000. It'll do the, um, the, like, not found, and then different ranges will show different frames. We also, if we get the emerald, because this bite changes, we can also say that we got it, and then if we got it, then we change it to a different frame. That's pretty easy. Uh, same thing, we have our positions here. This is where they are on the screen relative to the screen position. Pretty easy stuff for the most part. And uh, yeah, like I said, we do that three different times. And then I had to write some hooks to get this to work. We reused the stuff for the run on start. So it randomizes when this timer... When, move that. when this game timer starts, that's when it randomizes. And that code is ran. And then we have a bunch of just stuff in here to patch things out. Like removing the bonus stages and special stages. But yeah, it wasn't too, too bad. Managed to get it done in just a week. But, um, yeah. Let me... So, this should be up for download, available for everybody, as soon as this video goes live. Hopefully, Blue Streak will see it, and then he'll stick it up for everybody. But, um, yeah, this is available to download for everybody on Game Banana. It's not my mod, so I didn't feel right on putting it on my Patreon. But, uh, hopefully you guys like it. Do some speedruns. You can set the seed value. And, uh, race your friends with it and see how that goes. Uh, I think I missed one. Yep. Let's go back. Well, at least get this emerald and then we'll end it. Ah. I think it's over here. Nope, I'm not gonna be able to get there. So this is a good chance. Let's... Oh, there it is. So it's not on this path at all. Let's reset. And there's one down there, so I need to take the lower path. We'll get the other one first. And it should be there. And we can reset again. There's no penalty for resetting, just be aware if it's lower than a kill plane, then you might get killed. Um, I'm gonna work on trying to disable that, but it's kind of hit and miss because of how this game handles that kind of stuff. There's number two. Go in. And we're looking for our radar to go off. It's fine if we get hit, we don't really care. Dang, this emerald must be either on the upper path or really far away. Reset this. You do get 50 rings from emeralds, which is nice. Or from the uh, special stages. Sorry, not the emeralds. So you're looking for the emeralds. Where is this thing? Uh, let's not take a lower route. It should ping once we get close, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, 
Uh, nothing yet, and we're at the end. We're near the end. Oh, there we go. We finally got a ping. It's red, so it's obviously not to the left. It's going to be to the right, and probably up. Yellow, green. It's probably over here. Nope, went too far. Hmm. There we go. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys have fun with this new and improved version of Knuckles Emerald Hunt. Don't forget to click that like button and click that subscribe button if you do want to subscribe. Thank you guys for helping me hit the 30k. I definitely appreciate it. And we'll do maybe a giveaway soon. So stay tuned for that. This has been Codename Gamma, and I will see you all next time.